Rehearsing. Actors are over rehearsing their copy. The best way to explain how over rehearsing hurts you is with a little bit of a visual. I'm a bit of a visual learner, so I'm gonna help you visually as best I can. Hi there. Okay, so uh, the only Western prop I had was a flannel shirt I found in my boyfriend's closet. So we're using Lucy to help. This is a really hot shirt. Felt like a good idea when I wrote this piece. <laughs> this is a bad, bad idea. Over rehearsing. I call this the wagon wheel syndrome. Imagine your commercial audition like a nice smooth dirt road. This is you seeing your commercial copy for the very first time. You are the carriage. Now a loaded carriage can go down a dirt road for the first time and turn their carriage in any direction they wanna go. It's easy, it's their first time, but Every time you take that carriage down that dirt road, <laughs> those grooves get deeper and deeper. This is you subconsciously memorizing how you believe the copy should be delivered. Actors don't do this on purpose. They just do it. The more you take your carriage over and over that dirt road, the deeper the grooves get. Pretty soon, you're not gonna be able to take your carriage in another direction, making yourself less directable for change. The more you rehearse, the more you memorize yourself into a trap. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to take my little cowgirl puppy and uh, go back to filming how we were filming before. <laughs> Ideally, actors only need to say their copy out loud two or three times before they're comfortable with it and before they start to sound truly natural. This depends on how well you know your instrument and how sharp of a cold reader you are. There are exceptions to just reading it out loud two or three times, like for example, pharmaceutical copy, where you're saying things like, sleepwalking or eating while driving while not fully awake will seriously increase your risk of heart attack, stroke, blue eyes, a failing kidney, depression, or obesity. Sure, you might need to rehearse a couple more times before you get comfortable with it. There are exceptions to this rule, but you get the idea. Here are some facts for you to take into consideration. If you are represented talent, which means you're auditioning from a sound studio either uh, you know, in New York or LA, it is very uncommon for those actors to get that copy ahead of time. This is why. Because casting directors want their actors to be flexible and directable with the copy. This is why you're only going to see that copy a couple of minutes before you walk into the sound studio and you audition with that casting director. You're like fresh putty. They can mold you easily and without any issues, you have nothing subconsciously memorized. But if you're not represented, or if you're strictly auditioning from home and you're only working with yourself, you have to be the one that's in control of how much you're rehearsing your copy. So know this, if you've read it out loud at your home studio for more than 10 minutes, you've probably been rehearsing it for eight minutes too long. It does take time to get better and better at reading cold copy, but Keep practicing your cold reads. They will get better over time and they will take less time in time, if that makes sense. Remember, the actor that stays flexible, spontaneous, and directable with their auditions is gonna be the actor that books the job. Thank you for tuning in and be sure to subscribe for my upcoming videos. Subscribers are going to be entered into a wonderful competition coming up in a few weeks. As always, there's more on nycvocoach.com where you can also subscribe to my newsletter and you can find out about the voiceover classes I'm holding in Midtown Manhattan. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. <laughs> Say bye, Lucy. Good luck, actors. Oh!